you know those times where you find yourself doing something that's totally not usual? <laughs> hey everybody, Sid Garza Hillman here. Today, we're talking veggie sandwiches. Now, people go a little too fancy, in my opinion, on veggie sandwiches. They feel like they gotta go a little extra. You don't have to go extra, okay? The classic veggie sandwich that I'm gonna show you today stands alone. It doesn't need any fancy pants kind of stuff. Now, it's pretty heavy duty, so I'm gonna show, I'm actually, you know what? I feel a little underdressed for this, so I'm gonna just one quick second. Let's get to business. What I mean by fancy pants is you don't have to saute anything. You don't have to roast anything. The good classic veggie sandwiches that I'm gonna show you, quick, simple, easy. If you don't believe me, I'm gonna go ahead and prove my point. Hey, Mike. Good. It's Sid. How's it going? Good. Hey, listen, I have a quick, I have a quick, quick question for you. Do you remember a sandwich that I made you over 20 years ago? The sandwich, of course I do. Yeah, what sandwich was that, Mike? Uh, it was a, well, it was vegetarian. This is a veggie sandwich. A veggie sandwich. Okay, what was that sandwich like? It was the sandwich. It was memorable. I remembered it for. Over the years, many times. Okay, so it's stuck in your brain because it's a kick-ass sandwich. Am I right? You're right. Good. Okay. It was the most kick-ass sandwich I've ever had. Great. Good. Best to the wife. All right. Let's get busy. Knock me off my feet again. Me off my flaws again. Okay, if you're gonna do this correctly, which you are, heirloom tomatoes. Heirloom. 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 While you're prepping everything else, it's crucial. You gotta toast your bread. So, toast your bread. not overly toasted. Okay, so you start with a super sharp knife. It's about the way you cut these veggies. That's crucial. Did I mention these were heirloom tomatoes? Okay, veggies are cut. Now, I'm gonna show you something. This is the pepper. This is so thinly sliced that if I turned it sideways, you would not be able to see it. Avocado, red pepper, cucumber, tomato. All right, let's go get our bread. See, not too much. Okay, we're gonna put this sandwich together. You're right now, you're going, God, that doesn't seem very interesting, I really need, something else in it and y you don't so just ch -ch -ch. but two more things barbecue sauce boom Dijon mustard boom some of you may be thinking shredded carrots that might be a nice thing on a veggie sandwich here's why I don't do that and I am a nutritionist the reason I don't do it is because I'm not a communist here we go barbecue sauce Dijon mustard now we layer. Damn. It's time to put this thing together, the final chapter. You know what, sorry, I got a blender full of cashew ranch back here, I better put that away. Huh? Now the proper way to cut a sandwich, you might think to cut it sort of in the middle, not diagonally. I always cut it diagonally, I never cut it half because I don't dance for the man. Holy crap, tell me that doesn't look good. Time to put this bad boy on a plate. Okay, let's do this. 
I'm gonna take a bite of this thing. It literally, I'm not joking, is one of my favorite sandwiches. It's simple, it's easy. All the amazing stuff that's part of the sandwich, water-filled, fiber-filled, nothing that's gonna weigh you down, especially if this is a great thing to take to work. Compare this to the turkey and Swiss on white bread. Here's my invitation of somebody eating that. They take a bite of that and they go, okay, and they're in their meeting and they go, okay, Bob, I'm gonna... Amazing, it's so good.